it's up to the American people in this next election to make the nomination for this important seat on the Supreme Court. For the last 80 years, the Senate has not confirmed any nominee nominated during an election year, and, and we should not do so this time either. We're not going to nominate a Supreme Court justice until the people have spoken. There's going to be an election, and then the new president will have an opportunity to nominate someone in the Senate to confirm them. People deserve to be heard, and they should be allowed to decide through their vote for the next president the type of person that should be on the Supreme Court. The hypocrisy is unspeakable, but it is what it is. But let's talk about why this is so terrible. The, the injured party to this action here, it's not the Democratic Party, it's the United States of America. And I think it's important for everyone to understand that what fuels a democracy is faith and belief in the legitimacy of the system. And so now, look what we see here. We see all of these Republican senators, it's so breathtakingly dishonest. And what they're doing is hurting the country because the faith and belief that we need to sustain our democracy is bleeding out of the system. At the end of the day, you need look no further than the Republican platforms, right? Every idea, every principle, every policy was stripped out of it. It's a cult of personality. At least they're being consistent with regard to the platform. What the platform requires these senators to do is to be loyal and obedient to Trump. And that's what they're doing. Their word means nothing. The principless position that they have on this is just astounding. And it is amazing to see all of them and what they said, just, just how fundamentally dishonest it is. And the truth of the matter is, is that you know, Trump was always a symptom of our broken politics, but these are all the people who broke it. These are the type of people who are breaking it now and making it worse. And we're not going to be able to restore the faith and trust of the American people and government with politicians like these. It's just so staggeringly, staggeringly dishonest, there's almost no words for it, for sure. I and mean, I don't know what else you, you can say about it other than these are the same people, every one of them knew that Donald Trump was lying to the country about COVID. This thing is a killer if it gets you. If you're the wrong person, you don't have a chance. They also, every one of them knew that Donald Trump knew how deadly COVID was. Not one of them took the floor of the Senate. Not one of them went to the Oval Office. They are supine. They are weak. They are cowards. And they are a huge part of the reason that this country is in such precipitous decline tonight. This is a moment that calls for wisdom, calls for restraint. Restraint is an underappreciated virtue in the functioning of a democratic republic like the United States. Just because you can do it doesn't mean that you should. And by forcing this forward, the United States Senate shattering what was once known as the world's greatest deliberative body, and they'll break the Supreme Court is an institution. It will become just one more profoundly distrusted institution that the American people look at and think that it was constituted unfairly. It's up to the American people in this next election to make the nomination for this important seat on the Supreme Court. For the last 80 years, the Senate has not confirmed any nominee nominated during an election year, and, and we should not do so this time either. We're not going to nominate a Supreme Court justice until the people have spoken. There's going to be an election, and then the new president will have an opportunity to nominate someone in the Senate to confirm them. The people deserve to be heard, and they should be allowed to decide through their vote for the next president the type of person that should be on the Supreme Court. And so it's a terrible moment. It, the, the, the principless application of raw politics in the moment is going to cost the Republicans their majority in the Senate. And I think it's gonna put the final nail in Trump's coffin. This is politically terrible for Republicans, but they're willing to do damage to the country in this moment, obviously, to get the pick through on the court. Understand that the system has rules that we elect our representatives, that the person who gets the most votes wins. If you lose an election, you get them the next time. And so we've seen four years of Donald Trump whacking at our institutions with a baseball bat. 
hitting the pillars of the rule of law, assaulting the Justice Department, the intelligence agencies, burning it all down.